You found me. You weren't that hard to find. Your boy gave you up. Steven already. Steven. What are you, a cop? Detective? P.I.? Detective. Ah. How long have you worked with the force? What a year now. So whose nephew are you? Excuse me? You're a detective and you've only been on the force for a year? So whose nephew are you? That's not important. So you are someone's nephew? That's not what I'm here to discuss. Then why are you here? I'm here to arrest you. I've been dodging the cops for a year now. You really think I'm gonna get caught here? In a diner? Worst things have happened. I mean, <laughs> it's anticlimactic. So is Bonnie and Clyde. After all that time robbing banks, they ride out by some random guy and get gunned down while driving down a road. You know your history. Yes, and history repeats itself. That's how I know you can't run forever. See, this is what I mean by anticlimactic. You don't think Bonnie and Clyde had smally face bacon and eggs before they were gunned down? Fuck you. You think I'm a criminal, don't you? I don't think so. I know so. When one robs a bank, they do it for one of three reasons. Do you want to know what these reasons are? I'd say no. But I think that you decided to tell me, no matter what I say. Only a year, huh? You'll go far. Number one, he's desperate and broke. Needs to provide for his or her family. Number two, the legacy and fame for robbing a bank. Problem is, you gotta get away with it, or it was all for nothing. Since how you don't have a family, you don't seem to give a damn about the fame. Why do you do it? Three, the person has the means to rob a bank and does it. Makes a couple thousand dollars. Sometimes people do something because they can. Why do you think you're a detective? You were offered the job, and you could have said no, but you said yes. Do you know why? Because you could. And because you could, you make a couple thousand dollars. Are you saying that we're the same? Hardly, that's far too cliche. But can you honestly say that your robbery of a man's job is more legal than my stealing of a few thousand dollars? How do you think this conversation ends? With you, let me get up, walk out the door, after I finish my eggs and bacon, of course. What makes you think I'll let you do that? Do what? Finish my eggs and bacon? No, walk out of here. If you walk out of here without handcuffs on your wrist, you will be shot. Bullshit. No bullshit. We have two snipers on the roof of a building across the street and two cops waiting at the back entrance. Not so anticlimactic anymore, is it? Guess not. You have my other friends? Yes. Worst case scenario, I get life in prison without parole. At the moment, Worst case scenario is you leave this building without me and you're dead before you hit the ground. I see. Do you want to finish your eggs and bacon? You know, I'd hate to have my last meal be something a five-year-old would have. It doesn't have to be your last meal. I prefer if it weren't. Why does it have to be anticlimactic? Nah, I never actually really cared for bacon and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you're bluffing. I assure you, I'm not. First of all, I doubt you're a detective. One year, you'd still be an officer, at best, uncle or not. Also, I doubt they'd bring out two snipers to take out one bank robber. Last bank you robbed, you beat security guard severely. He had to be hospitalized. That wasn't me. That was Steven. Not the way he sells it. Yeah, no shit. He died last night. Massive brain swelling caused by the blunt force trauma. That makes it murder in the second degree. And since you robbed those banks with guns, you're assumed to be very dangerous. He's dead? As of 2 o'clock this morning. What do you want, a confession? I had my confession five minutes ago. No, I want you to put on these handcuffs and walk outside with me. No, you're lying. We didn't kill anyone. Technically, the body of your pistol did, but I don't think that matters much to a jury. I know you're not a killer, but the jury will think you are. Even if you survive the snipers, running from a cop in a diner does not look too good either. Fuck you, you're lying. And I bet if I walk out that door, nothing's gonna happen. Are you willing to bet your life on that? I have to be. I've bet my life on a lot of things for the past year. Walking in or out of that door being most of them. Walking into the bank and walking out. You get used to being scared of that sort of thing. Please, just put the cuffs on. No. Mark, please. See you later, man. You gonna leave without paying? What you're saying is true. I don't see how it really matters.
It was my father. What? How I got my job. It was my father, not my uncle. Shame. <laughs> you would have made a good cop. <laughs> Speaking of happiness, you never thought of mine. Mentioning loneliness, I feel lonely all.